Hey Hornets, happy Valentine's Day. I'm Sophia. And I'm Celia. And this is KBTV, Healing's number one source of information. so it's Newsday, here's the buzz for this week. Keeling students will be among shadows this week, as Keeling applicants will be accompanying current Keeling students. The applicants are shadowing at Keeling. Watch out for shadows and make sure they feel right at home. This Saturday from 10 to 12, we will be hosting Explore Keeling, here for the Keeling community to come to our school and look at all of our great classes and meet our wonderful teachers. KBTV continues its recurring feature, Keeling Culture. This week's Keeling kids are Isaiah Martinez and Ella Glasskopf. Now to KBTV reporters for more on these achieving students. February is a month full of stress and pressure, with many Keeling students juggling multiple academic and extracurricular interests. Students like Ella Glasscock, one of the more than nearly 1,300 students at Keeling, wakes up early to make it to school by 7.30. In the evenings after dinner and homework, Ella goes to rowing practice from 5 to 7. Uh, rowing is this... It's a team sport um, where you have these really long rowing shells that you have uh, like up to eight people in and the goal is to just stay synchronized with everyone else when you're rowing. Though athletics require a serious commitment, they can also be a necessary outlet for relieving stress and taking a break through something that makes you happy. There's a lot of camaraderie, I guess, among my team because we've had like a lot of really hard practices together. Um, and so we've grown like really close over that. And um, it's that's something like I think really special that you can like get over spending so much time with a team. With the competing demands of extracurriculars in school, it can be hard to keep up a rigorous schedule. Although there may not be a lot of time, it's important to take time to relax and disconnect. I like to relax in my living room because it has like some really nice like lighting. It's like really warm. Isaiah Martinez is another busy Keeling sixth grader. I'm Isaiah Martinez. When Isaiah is done with his work after school, he enjoys watching Netflix to relax. Unlike Ella, Isaiah doesn't have to go far to get some peace and quiet. Uh, my mom and dad, they're both deaf, so I know sign language. Like Raven Burnella from Keeling Culture Episode 1, both of Isaiah's parents are deaf. They communicate with him silently through American Sign Language. It's like not normal, but fun at the same time because, you know, you can like talk back without them, without them hearing you. <laughs> Especially for Keeling students, it's important to take a break from the pressure of fast-paced schedules and take a step back to appreciate the activities that we value. <laughs> Work hard, play harder. Now for some sports news with Ryan. Keeling boys basketball A and B teams will be playing against Mendes this Thursday. Come to Mendes for 8th grade and Keeling for 7th grade to support boys basketball. This Saturday, A team soccer will be playing Mendes at Mendes and B team will be playing Burnett at Burnett. Come cheer on our Lady Hornets. Looks like Keeling students know how to keep healthy. Here are some tips on how to stay physically and mentally healthy. It's February, and flu season is still in full swing. With dozens of kids missing school each day, here are some terrific ways to steer clear of germs and stay healthy. Eat right. Lots of fluid, and fluid by I mean water. Um, stay away from sodas. Um, right now is cold and flu season. Wash your hands. Cough in your elbow. I stay healthy by playing football and basketball. And like focusing on my homework. Health is more than just your physical well-being. Mental health also has a big impact on your day-to-day -day life. Stress can affect everyone and everyone needs to know how to de-stress and mentally stay healthy. Here's some advice on how to take care of yourself. Just uh, make sure you make some time for yourself. Also watch a movie, um, hang out with some friends, make sure you laugh, that kind of stuff. But I think doing something physical, one thing physical every day is very important. Um, I try to take, if I'm doing homework and I'm really stressed out or taking a long time to study, I'll take 
little breaks or um, just talk with someone and try to manage my day. With spring break on the way, try to stay healthy for the time being. This has been Sam Whitlow reporting for KVTV. It is important to keep a healthy mind and body when going to a school like Keeling. Keeling students have lots of different healthy habits. KBTV investigates. I play tennis for eight hours a week. Healthy habit okay. is to drink milk. Hey guys. Sleeping eight hours a day. A healthy habit is to eat vegetables. This has been Maggie Gillum reporting for KBTV. With these tips, you could run a marathon. KBTV reporters investigate the Austin Marathon. Imagine running 13.1 miles or even 26.2 miles. How about running all the way to Leander, Texas or a whole other town? This distance may seem far-fetched for some, but these Keeling teachers have taken the high road and participated in various races that they not only compete in, but enjoy. So I run with Tough Cookies. We keep each other accountable because you you know, if you miss a couple of runs, people will be on you about it. And it's just more fun to talk to people while you're running. My son Hayes is in high school and he's going to be running um, the calf marathon. And he was asking for my help with the motivation. So I'm going to run a portion of that with him today. Regardless of whatever your reason is to start running, training for a marathon takes motivation, positive attitude, and a lot of heart. This has been Sadie Schrickman reporting for KVTV News. Now to Alicia for some entertainment news. The Texas Music Educators Association Convention invited two very talented Keeling Fine Arts to perform at their annual convention. Advanced Mixed Choir and Honor Orchestra prepared some excellent pieces which they shared at the convention. Last Tuesday, Keeling Honor Orchestra had their send-off concert as they went to San Antonio performing as the winners of the TMEAs. Way to go, Honor Orchestra! Keeling Advanced Mixed Choir opened the TMEAs with two songs that they have been practicing for a very long time. They performed beautifully. Congrats, choir. Thanks for watching, Hornets. I'm Sophia. And I'm Saleha, reporting from the Hornets Nest. And we're the Hornets Best. We'll see you next week.